morning I'm in the shed. Let's check the progress of things that I'm doing. Okay. So let's down here and cramp enough on it. I'm in the shed. Start my new project. I want a new polytunnel. It was going to cost about 700 and 800 pounds with extras, but this is going to cost us 400 pounds for materials, for the posts and the concrete and all that. Uh, and then plastic, I've got some anyway. Uh, had for a while, which I bought. Uh, so it's going to be about 19 foot by 7.5 foot. So look, fair size. Should have done wider, but I, I want paths around anyway. Uh, I've started with the first post, that's gone in, and from there, if it's 585 inches, it's over 19 foot, I think it's between each post, because I'm putting uh, four posts along the side all together, it's 195, so that's 195 in the centre of the post, and what I'll do, I'll put these three in first, and then from that post to that post, it is uh, 88 and a quarter inches I think, I'll have to double check but I'm making sure that I put these posts in first so I've got a guide from there to there so this post is 2.7 meters, I've put about 0.7 in so it's 2 meters all together uh, it's gonna have like a, as you can see over there, a shed roof like that uh, ain't gonna be 45 degrees, I don't know 30 degrees anyway, it's gonna have that angle uh, uh, so I've basically put these posts in so even if your posts aren't quite straight like flush together like from here to there it isn't quite like you know the right might be slightly off I think mine was off by about I don't know uh, about 10 centimeters ain't much I just compensated for that to go there so that pole there, if you can see it, uh, is not as not quite 195, it's just slightly less. Just so it doesn't really matter as long as that is level with that, it doesn't really matter, and that's slightly off. It's just one of them things. I could have got a uh, pivot with a plumb line, but uh, I didn't have it, and uh, I put it in position before I measured it. It's just a little mistake, not much. I should have measured from the edge of that. Like I said, it's only 10. 10 centimeters. If I'd measured from here to there and went all the way along, it would have been a bit skew if it wouldn't have been square. But because I've realized straight away I've just slightly adjusted that, so that's one thing to think of is try to get a straight edge. So this is 69 690 centimeters, and that was 700 because uh, that's a straight edge as well. Well, not perfectly straight, but a straight ish. Uh, so I should have measured that. Anyway, I'll come back once I've got these posts in. Maybe the ones at the back. So, as you can see, the eight posts are in now. Uh, took about six hours to do. I could have done probably done it quicker, but uh, I was chatting away like you normally do with a lot. Man. People pop over in the chat, so you don't quite get it done as fast as you can, but they're all, they're all in, apart from the door. Uh, and what I didn't realise is that this has got an incline. I forgot about that. So this path has got to incline. So when I did the first post, 2.1, second one, 2.1. And it wasn't, I don't know what it was. I had to put this deep and I couldn't, I just couldn't fathom why. Then I realized the reason why I had to put them deeper because like I says, the path has got to incline uh, just to make a level. So the in, so once I had got these in here, that was the first four posts. Uh, it's meant to be 88 point, well, 88 and a quarter inches between that post and that post. Uh, so I measure from there to there, like it says, and from the straight edge here to that post is 59. So I did exactly the same thing there. So that was all measured there, set, level. And because there was an incline coming up, uh, I would have to dig deeper so I cut the ends off uh, so that post was put in there and so then I could go from this post to that post uh, from the edge of this post to the centre of that post 195 and then once again measure from there to there uh, to get as close as I could from to 88 and a quarter 
same as that post and the same as that post. The end post is slightly off, so that between there is slightly less than 195. Not a worry. So the in, the secure. Uh, they're not going anywhere. I do like when I put the post creeping in, I like to put a few uh, broken up flagstones around it just to give it a bit more support instead of just the cement. Uh, some people probably won't do that, but I like doing that anyway. Uh, so I had to take the flagstones up, which I can't believe the fact the size of them. I don't know how the hell I got these in. I must have been committed to put these in. I should have like carved them really, but I think I just did it, had the time, done it. So they're coming up. Obviously still got to get, take these ones up here, uh, get them out of the way. And I measured measured this uh, box, which I got from work. Uh, the width fits exactly into there. Uh, slightly smaller. I might put the full one in or I might half it and put two side that side and then that side. Uh, don't know at the minute, just have to see because it's going to be a hell of a task to fill uh, a full one probably not as much to fill like half of it but we'll just see and the next next task I've got to do is to put the two posts in here so I've got these here for the door uh, all I'll do, I'll measure the polytunnel door here I'll measure that I'll measure in between these two posts here and I'll basically get the centre and then from the centre measure out either side for the side of the door so it'll be exactly in the centre. So that's my next task that I've got to do, put that in and then I'll make the frames to go in between these two posts. So I wasn't sure whether I'm going to put the plastic on the uh, on the frames first and screw it in or put the frames in and then wrap the plastic round. Uh, not quite sure yet, see how, how much plastic I've got. Uh, and I'll put some hot tape that I've got. I've got some spare of this hot tape and I'll either put it on the frame or I'll put it on the post. See what's best. Probably I might not do it on the post, I don't know, but we'll just have to see. And once the frame's in, uh, the plastic, or I might put the plastic on after. I don't really know. It's like I say, is I'm trying to think what's best. And then once I've got the frame, the frame all the way around the top here, it'll be flush with the top here. It means I can start doing the roof. And getting that done, uh, getting that secured, and that'll be it. That'll be it finished, hopefully. With the plastic and everything on, and the door, and then obviously sort the inside. And then I've got some uh, wood lats here from fences that'll go on the outside of it. So whether I've got the plastic uh, wrapped around here, I don't know, but I'll put that there on either side. Just like I have on the chicken coop that I built, uh, as you can see, how it's uh, either side. So I'll do that, just to tidy it up, you know, make it look nice. Uh, maybe I'm fanning on too much, I don't know, but I want it secure. I want it to look sort of last for years. So hopefully, you'll follow this progress uh, when I do part two. Uh, and it gives you a bit of inspiration. Uh, like I say, they're probably not perfect, the posts. I think some of them are slightly off. I think the path has got it inclined and it slightly moves to the uh, to the left-hand side. So it slightly goes off. So it's slightly put it off a bit. But uh, not a worry. It doesn't, you know, you know, you haven't got a building, I haven't got a building company and I'm making things perfect. I would do that, obviously, because you would have a, you would find a straight edge and work from that. But I use what I've got. So hopefully you'll follow the next uh, video and do part two. So see you later. It's bye from me, Grant Northumberland. I'm in the shed. Bye.